Overcoming is a show that sees us bringing women together in discussion about a challenge that they are either currently going through or have overcome. Basically sharing a pain, holding hands, crying together and healing together. Hoping that this will inspire somebody currently going through tough times. Well, let's see what today's episode has in store for us. Hi, my name is Precious Molwelwa. I'm 23 years old. I'm the founder of the Self-Defined Woman. I was diagnosed with complex ovarian cyst and organ TB when I was 19 and was left to face infertility. Hello, my name is Lame Ambrosia Mohorosi and I have irritable bowel syndrome and I've had it for the past 25 years. And I am 25 years old and I also have mental illness which is depression and anxiety. My ladies, so young and yet you guys have dealt with so much in your short lives. Only 23 and only 25. Severe irritable bowel syndrome plus mental illness, which I believe has been has come as a result of the severe irritable bowel syndrome, right? Yeah. We've also got you with the complex ovarian cyst plus organ TB. Let's start with you, uh, Precious. Please just get us into uh, your experience, especially let's just take it back to diagnosis. How did you end up being diagnosed with you know these very complex conditions? Um, basically it began when I was, well, I've had the symptoms, mm. um, abdominal pain, back pain, random chest pains, and you don't know what's wrong, painful periods, but at one point, um, 2014, mm -hmm. I was tired of all the pain and I demanded that I get a scan. And the doctor, I thought, okay, okay, I a scan. I did the scan, and I found out which is wrong. You shouldn't do that because you need a doctor because if you read it on your own, you'll panic. Mm -hmm. So I read it and found out I have complex ovarian cyst um, about the size of an orange. Yes, and um, the doctor, I want yeah, and I actually broke down because I knew I had researched, which is a good thing that mm -hmm. it's very serious. So he let me go that day to a private hospital, and um, they diagnosed me with yone complex ovarian cyst and they said I have to go for surgery the next day. Really? Yes. But even before we get to your surgery, like I'm amazed that at how old were you then? 19? At a point where you demanded to get a scan. I was 19. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I remember I struggled with, you know, those heavy periods. Yeah. And, you know, I only got diagnosed at 28. And up to 28, I hadn't asked for a scan. For so a I'm scan. amazed that, you know, at that point. Is it because of the research that you've been doing? What gave you that wisdom to even ask for, to get a scan? The first time I went to a doctor and he told me the pain is psychological. Hmm. Mm -hmm. and that I'm probably making it up, it's not real. That's when I knew, nah, I'm on my own. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. when I started googling different pains, learning about And then the next morning I woke up and I'm like, I'm not going back home mm -hmm. until I get help. Mm -hmm. I was sick when I was 14, I was hospitalized. I'm not gonna go through that again. Mm -hmm. So that's when I went to the doctor. Was it a private doctor, by the way? Because I'm also wondering whether you managed to get help from, you know, a public health system or uh, from a private doctor. I got help from Kirleskeni um, at a private hospital clinic. Yeah, yeah. Clinic in Ghana, and then I got help from a bigger private hospital. Okay. Emma. All right. Let's just hold it right there. La la. Get us into your irritable bowel syndrome. You know, your story is heartbreaking you know like you, you've mentioned you've also got mental illness now you suffer from anxiety attacks and depression just tell us about first of all irritable bowel syndrome what is that how did you find out that you had it well um i've suffered from severe constipation mm -hmm. apparently since i was two months old mm -hmm. um back then it was just an occasional distraction you know i'll get constipated then i'll be sick for two days and get over it mm -hmm. but then last year in june I felt sick, extremely sick, you know, abdominal pains, bloating, trapped gas too. Mm -hmm. um, I went into the toilet, um, 
I fainted. I was I was bleeding. You know, I was bleeding and I fainted. Where were you bleeding from? Um, in our area. Okay. Yes. And I fainted. Um, they took me to the hospital, public hospital. Mm. Even though I've been to both private and public in the past. Um, so I went to the hospital and when I got there, I just got an enema. And they told me I had a fever, like a tear, because I haven't gone in two months. Yes, I haven't gone. Did you take stuff that would help? You know, I would like the TV body. Yes. Would you take such things? Yes, I was put. I was always put on medication, you know, down mm. products and whatnot. So, mm. But for me, they never worked. Um, I'll be asked to take two tablets in a day, but for them to work, I had to take like ten. I had to overdose, but then I'll still be in pain. When I got there, um, I was admitted for a day, and then they took me out because I lied. I told them that the enema worked because I wanted to go home. <laughs> so I went back home, but I didn't get better. Usually, you know, I'll just get better and get on with my life. It got worse. June up to December, I was in and out of the hospital. Mm. And then it got depressing because I, I was home most of the time. Mm. I was home most of the time. So that time it was depressing and I had anxiety. And then February this year, I went to a private hospital, clinic rather. Mm. And then I had a scan done. They told me I had cysts. The other one was near the ovary and the other one in the intestine. Mm. And they also told me I had what they call silent intestines. My intestines were not moving, which means that water was being absorbed. So it was difficult to pass through the toilet. So I was going to talk about it. I was going to talk So in your case, the water gets absorbed and then yeah. the food just remains still yeah. in the intestines. And then it got bad. It changed from constipation to diarrhea, or I would have them at the same time. Mm. The, the diarrhea got so bad that I, I needed diapers. Oh my! Yes, I needed diapers because when I tried to get out of the house, I was like dripping. Yes. yes. This is at home. Yes. When I tried to, we in now and we we did that. Yeah. Mm. And then I told my grandmother that you know what, because she's a nurse, you know, mm. she watched me grow up. I told you know what, I need diapers, mm. and she understood. So I have. This, the clothes, I make sure that the clothes are wearing are not tight because during the day I can get bloated so the diapers fit in well with the dresses and whatnot. So, yeah. Are you still on diapers or not does it too. depend like that days where you need them yes. and days where you don't? Because last week I had constipation for an hour I tried but an hour later I had diarrhea, I had no idea what was going on mm. and then a couple of hours it was constipation again and I couldn't understand. When constipation happens, you know, you get bloated and it's so painful and then trapped gas. When I told my mom that, you know what, I can't pass gas, she laughed. <laughs> like, oh you know, my. just try. Mm. Like, you know, I can't. Mm, because it's all that we take yeah. for granted. Gori, you know, the average person is even embarrassed by the fact yeah. that in public places, this thing comes out yeah. or it wants to come out. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's so effortless that we take for granted yeah. or somebody out there could struggle yeah. with just pass passing gas. Yeah, so for me to pass gas, you have to walk long, long distance. You mm. walk and then you come home. And then you massage your, your tummy. Mm. Then you lie on your left side. When you lie on your right side, it hurts so bad. You oh lie on your left side. Then after hours, that's when you can finally find relief. My ladies, yeah. <laughs> I do not even know what to say. But you know what? We'll continue with this right on the other side of the break. Please don't go anywhere. Catch us right after this. Mm.